Hi, I'm Andy, Asthma and Lung UK's GP. Steroids work by calming down the inflammation in the lungs. They're mainly used for asthma, but can sometimes be helpful for people with COPD, particularly those who have asthma as well. Steroids can sometimes be used to treat other medical and lung conditions too. The steroids used to treat asthma, COPD and other lung conditions are not the same as the anabolic steroids which are used by some athletes. As a GP, I often see people worried about taking steroids for their lung condition. Firstly, I reassure them that we always prescribe the lowest dose needed for their condition. Most steroid inhalers have low doses of steroid medicine in them anyway. Secondly, side effects are more likely if steroids are taken long term or at high doses. Before prescribing steroids, doctors always consider the risks and the benefits. And even though steroids have some side effects, they can also be a life-saving treatment. Taking a steroid preventer inhaler for asthma means you're less likely to react to your asthma triggers like pollen, pollution, stress and exercise. Reducing inflammation and swelling in your airways using steroids means you're less likely to get asthma attacks. Steroids are also useful for people with COPD who get regular flare-ups. For COPD, steroid inhalers are most useful for people whose condition has asthma-like features like a history of allergies or when you have both COPD and asthma together. Your doctor may prescribe steroid inhalers for COPD if your symptoms get worse or you've been having a lot of flare-ups. Sometimes you may need a short course of steroid tablets if you have poorly controlled asthma, an asthma attack or a COPD flare-up. Steroids are really important in these cases to treat the inflammation in your lungs and get you well again. Some people with COPD are given a short course of steroid tablets to keep at home as part of a flare-up rescue pack, but you must have clear instructions about when and how to use them. Sometimes you may need a longer course of steroids. This is usually only for people with asthma that's difficult to control or severe. If this is the case, you should be under the care of a specialist. Long-term oral steroids are not usually recommended for people with COPD. It's understandable that people worry about the side effects of taking steroids. If you're using a steroid inhaler, these medicines act directly on the airways and generally have very few side effects. Any problems like a sore mouth, for example, can be prevented by using a spacer with your inhaler, if that's possible. And always rinse your mouth with water and spit it out after using your inhaler. Good inhaler technique is also important. You may notice more side effects if you need to take a high dose of your inhaler for a long time. If you have COPD, high doses in your inhaler over a long term can mean an increased risk of pneumonia. Long-term steroid tablets can have side effects like weight gain, bone thinning, bruising of the skin and possibly diabetes. If you've had several courses of steroid tablets or been put on them for a longer period of time, speak with your doctor or healthcare professional about what you can do to reduce the chance of getting these side effects. Always get your medicines reviewed regularly so your doctor can make sure that you're on the right dose for you. Also, talk to them about whether you need to carry a steroid card. This lets healthcare professionals know you're taking steroids. It's really important you don't stop taking your steroid inhaler or tablet suddenly if you've been taking them for more than a few weeks. Steroids in an inhaler or as tablets are an important and effective treatment for inflammation in the lungs and can make a massive difference to how you deal with your condition. If you have any concerns about the medicines you take for your asthma, COPD or other lung condition, speak to your doctor, nurse, pharmacist or other healthcare professional and you can also call our helpline.